five? Yeah. Why? Do I look younger? No, it's not about looks. It's about what's in front of me and everything I've learned oh. about before. <laughs> You're too young for this. I am. Yeah. It kind You're... of started when I was 20. I got into a hole. A hole is an understatement, my dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, usually I have some pleasantries and everything, but it's just... Hearing your age right there, really, I was just, regardless of looks or anything, I was just hoping, well, I don't know what I would, because I wouldn't want anyone in this situation. I just think immediately throwing your life away too young, but it's okay, it's okay. Okay, well, I don't think I'm that young. Let's be real now. I know, but it just, it just hurts someone in their 20s. It would hurt any decade, so I guess I don't know why that age stuck out to me. It's just something just in my heart. I'm like, <laughs> because your finances are a mess. There's not... A crazy amount of documents. But your finances are a mess. Your life is a mess. It's a true mess. And I need this to be the conversation that changes your life around because from everything I've learned about you before this show, from everything from our producers and everything, I I'm I'm legitimately scared for you. And this is like a this needs to be a desperate, desperate attempt at a wake up call for you because I, I'm sorry. You're kind of f- everything up. Yeah. And yeah. you're living off of begging for money on Twitter. Yeah. Jesus. Twitter and desperately holding on to a husband that's technically not even an ex at this point, but is not together <laughs> yeah. and is sending you money. So I got I'm going to I'm gonna take that as a cope laugh. Yeah. I'm going to take that as a cope laugh because, like, this is no way to live. Uh, more than for that. Real. And this is the one that just stabs knife through my heart you're homeless right now yeah living in your car barely got the repairs necessary to come out here and you really wanted to come out here so you did it and then you drove through the north uh, from the northwest yeah and i'm still continuing to drive it because i have to do doordash jesus unbelievable wow shout out to her um hopefully we're gonna get to this and why she's in the situation she is and Caleb is going to figure her out. That's all I can say starting out right now. DoorDash. DoorDash. That's how I make my money. Kind of, except for the e-begging on Twitter. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Taking, taking money from the husband. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the husband situation is kind of like it feel like we're kind of together, kind of not. He like I don't live with him. He lives in Pennsylvania, and I don't want to move to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, and so uh, he wants me to move back and be together. But I don't really want to. I'm trying to find a state where I can like stay. Like I don't want to be in my car forever. But like my end goal is to go back to Kansas and live in Kansas. But I can't do that Kansas. yet. So to be clear. Yeah, you're married, but you do not well, want to be with your husband. husband. Yes. Oh, happy Valentine. That is the most gracious thing I ever heard in my life. I am married, but my husband's in Pennsylvania, and I want to stay in Texas because I don't want to move. That's why I decided to stay in my car and do DoorDash. Unbelievable. I see you learn something new every day. But this is new to me. I don't know if it's new to a lot of you people out there, but if it is, hit the like button and subscribe for more reactions like this because I don't think anyone is going to be prepared for this one. Valentine's Day, by the way, Caleb. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, It's also my birthday. (laughs) Is it? Happy birthday. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, birthday wish for me, honestly, is to make you a little less uh, homeless. Um, yeah, would be preferred. Uh, if I have one birthday wish. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. <laughs> but again, I'm saying with your husband, but you don't want to be with your husband. Yeah. Are you using him for money? I'll be flat out honest. No. Because he sends you money. He sends me money now, but like, cause I've been with him for a while. He only just started working. So the money just started coming in. Cool. I don't. I mean, you waited for him to work in, to start taking money from someone that you're not even with, but you're technically married to. When did you guys get married? 2018. Uh, what the? F- 
So what's going on with this whole thing? For real. With the, the marriage. marriage. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of took care of him for four years. And because uh, oh, so? we lived in Kansas City and I was getting money in Kansas City. And so I was kind of taking care of him because he didn't want to work. And I was working. I was doing Amazon at the time. No, no, no. You're taking care of a boy. Uh-uh. See, this is like, I don't know what it is. Lately, I've been hearing these women saying that they want to they take care of their men. I'm like, my God, has men really fallen off where women start taking care of us like a mommy? Unbelievable. Ah. Uh. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, really? Oh my goodness. Guys, guys, guys. What's going on? No, 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 no. I got another reason why. Time. And so I feel like me taking the money from him now is what, like, you know, recovering from taking care of him. But I just I can't take care of a man child. Why are you guys together? Why are you guys together? I liked him at one point. Liked him at one point? And then I like why the f are you guys still together right now? For real. I'm not a marriage okay. counselor, but like why the Because he real. has all my This is why I said like most of these people are staying in these bad relationships for no apparent reasons. I don't know why. You know, hey, we pushed getting married, getting married. But I see where this got us. It got us to we're just selling for bad relationships and we're being with people that we're not compatible with, that we don't like. We like him for money. We like him for personality, but he's broke. Oh, we like him for his money, but he's a horrible person. Like, come on. What's the big deal? Literally, we're just staying these marriages for the most dumbest reasons ever. My thanks. He has all my things, and he will throw my things away if I if you like, get divorced. That's toxic as. F that's that's why I don't want to be with that's him. That's borderline abusive. Yeah, because I had a I had a minivan, and I went and visited him like a few months ago, and I lost the minivan because I got in an accident, and so all of my possessions were in this van. I had to bring him into his house. So now I'm like working towards getting back to Pennsylvania to get my things, so I can move on with my life. Okay. Um, God. so what are you going to do when he's not giving you money? I understand the story much better now. I really do. Okay. I got it. Oh, shout out to a woman. Let's pray for this woman. I hope this woman gets the help that she needs. That's all I'm going to say in Jesus name. Amen. Well, what I want to do is find a job around here. I here? like around Austin. What is this? You're so confusing. You are all over the place. I am. You're like I'm very okay fickle. right now. I'm in the Northwest. I want to live back in Kansas. Let me get a job in Austin. Well, what? I can't live in Kansas. Why? Because I have a warrant. What the? F I have a warrant. What the f why? Jeez, Guys, right. it's a new year, and you need. To uh, you know what? I'm just going to end the video right here. This is crazy. It really is. But if you want me to do a part two of this video, just let me know. Also, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and watch my next video right here. And don't forget to comment on the video. What do you think? Do you think she's doing better or she will probably will not do good at all? I hope not. And I don't wish, well, I don't wish bad on people, but there are some situations it's hard to get out. All right. You have a good one. Bye-bye.